Hi, my name is Martin Tweed, President and CEO of Kindred Aerospace. Thank you for joining the Pioneer Program. For almost 30 years, Kindred has been striving to help humanity expand beyond the confines of Earth. And I am excited to announce that many industry observers now consider us the fourth best interstellar exploration company. From our humble beginnings, manufacturing batteries and solar arrays for use in extreme climates, to our line of athletic footwear and chic survival apparel, we have been continually striving to drive humanity further from the bottom of the oceans and now to the stars. Oh. Our next step is to move beyond pure exploration and into settlement, which is why you are here. Our scientists have identified several planets that may be fit for human habitation. Yours is ER-126. Your job is to explore the planet's surface, catalog its creatures, threats, and opportunities, and send your data back to our crack team of scientists here at Kindred for analysis. The more you discover, the more we'll be able to guide your experience and highlight objectives for you and your partner, if you have one. I should also mention that while every effort has been made to ensure a comfortable and safe journey, recent budget challenges plus the Unknown natures of the obstacles you will face mean that we were unable to send you anything in the way of equipment. Oh. But don't stress, however, as your habitat comes equipped with a 3D printer that is more than capable of turning any old space trash you discover into useful items. One minor note. All the fuel in your javelin was used in the journey from Earth and the landing on your planet. You will need to discover a local resource that you can refine into an appropriate fuel. Unless, of course, you decide to spend the rest of your life off Earth. <laughs> but I don't want to take up too much of your time, and I'm sure you're very excited to explore. So I wish you good luck. We will send updates on your progress as you complete your scheduled surveys. Stay alive, and see you soon. Travels not for everyone. Side effects of long-term space travel are uncommon, but can include headache, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, dizziness, dysentery, chest pain, varicose veins, bloody stools, feeling of emptiness or hopelessness, osteoarthritis, hemorrhoid, diabetes, forgetfulness, gender confusion, spontaneous dental prolapse, mild discomfort, or death. If you notice any of these symptoms, please contact your kindred representative as soon as possible, and all efforts will be made to help and or rescue you. Note that current rescue times exceed six months. Hello. Is this thing working? Sorry, buddy. Hey. Hey, yeah, you. Hi, I apologize for the one-sided nature of this message, but, you know, communication across vast distances makes it impossible to do anything else. So, I hear you've arrived on ARY-26, and I've, uh, I've seen some of the preliminary data, and I have to tell you, we have a few questions. <laughs> well, as you know, every planet we initially surveyed showed uh, no sign of intelligent life. The only thing is, your planet is, uh... <laughs> wrong. Not wrong. Strange. Unusual. Um, I... We... We need to know what's inside that structure. Okay. Uh, how did our scanners miss it? Who built it? I need you to dig up everything you can. We are searching for a new home for humanity. After all. I need you to transmit this data directly to me. Okay? I've already updated your transfer protocols. This needs to be our little secret for now. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Congratulations! Across the known universe, we have tens, perhaps hundreds of tens of explorers turning over rocks documenting the local fauna, and uploading vast amounts of data for the Kindred Science Team. That's what I'm talking about. We assume a failure and or death rate of 15% across our various endeavors. So the fact that you're alive and receiving this message brings a warm glow to the hearts of the entire Kindred Team. 
Bingo! We've got a winner. We would also like to take a moment to highlight Puff Puff passed to 79. Not only has he stayed alive, but he's contracted this. <laughs> wow. Now, it may look painful, but this could hold the secret to curing some illnesses which continue to haunt our species, such as herpes simplex or rogue limb. So, good luck to you, Puff Puff Pasta 79. But enough chit chat. Our analysis of which planets offer the best potential future home for humanity continues. And we have you to thank for it. Keep exploring. <sighs> Works in here. Oh, my God. Oh, hi. Yeah, good to see you again. Yes, I hope you're doing well and thank you for your continued dedication. I'll keep it simple. The data you've gathered so far has set off an automated alarm in our system. We're not entirely sure why just yet. But inside that tower that you've discovered is something of immense potential. Get inside, find out what it is, and bring it back. There's a huge reward waiting for you if you do. Good luck. Happy Intersolar Kindred Day! With so many happy explorers rummaging around in outer space, we thought it would be nice to remind you that Kindred Aerospace is now 25 years old! While our business has evolved, our values have not. We are still dedicated to the preservation and promotion of humanity throughout the universe. Earth is lovely, but we must continue to spread if we are to survive any of a multitude of catastrophes that could befall us. If we can only continue to find new planets, we can continue to grow, unhindered by concepts of finality or scarcity. The Earth is finite. The universe is infinite. Which is why it's not only a party for kindred, it's a party for you! Let's get spaced out together! No, I know. I know, it was just that it was supposed to be uninhabited. Yeah, and the size of it. <laughs> so big. Covered in what? Oh, ooh. Oh, really? Oh, that can't be true. Check it all again. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I... I, I gotta go. <laughs> Damn. Nearly gave me a heart attack. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Because now I can update you on some new discoveries regarding your planet. We found something down there, at the base of the tower. Oh, it's big. I mean, it's huge. And it's alive. It looks kind of like a, like a building-sized death meatball. I mean, who knows what it is or what horrors it contains. But who doesn't love meatballs? Mm. I'm sure that you're more than up to the task. So far, you overcome everything, no matter how weird or disgusting it is. Just find a way to get power back into the tower. Get inside. Don't let that giant meatball eat you. Please. It's finally happened! You did it! Our automated measurements have transmitted the vital information that you have successfully refueled your javelin and could, at any moment, be launching yourself back to Earth. 
Imagine the delight on the faces of your children and partner, or partners, or parents, or pet, or whatever may be waiting for you. Especially if you've accomplished all of your various tasks. Remember that your bonus and pension are only available if you've completed all of your contractually obligated objectives. Congratulations! You surveyed the planet and survived. We here at Kindred cannot thank you enough. Your planet has been added to our database, and moving forward, it will become a full candidate in the future settlement of humanity. We have already discovered many potentially suitable options, but there can never be enough. Let's not overstate it. What you have done is miraculous. You've not merely discovered a home for life. You have discovered life itself. A technology far beyond my greatest expectations. The seed you have discovered contains an entire planetary ecosystem worth of genetic data, along with systems and, and mechanisms for creating complete functioning biosphere. Kindred must change direction. Why would we choose a new home for humanity from existing planets when we can simply... This will be your next task, Explorer. Creating a world! 